Hi guys, Jin here of Kaji Pilipinas. Welcome back to the channel. In our first episode, we talked about what Gamecaster is all about and what can it do for you as a game streamer. And in the second is that we talked about the requirements if you wish to stream your games uh, using your PC or if you just really wish to stream using your other devices. And uh, for this episode, we'll talk about how to really stream using XSplit Gamecaster and all the equipment that you have using your PC. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. Before anything else, I highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell because we're giving away something for the month of May. This is the uh, Realme C3 and we're giving it to one lucky subscriber based in the Philippines. Let's go. Now, as I mentioned earlier, for this episode, we'll talk about how to stream your games using your PC. This is basically the focus of our stream right now. We'll be talking about how to stream your PlayStation 4 games and Nintendo Switch games on the next episode. So if you wanna do that, you may want to wait or you can just simply click in the description down below for the respective episode that you're looking for. Just remember guys that most of the settings here, especially the basic ones, may be the same when streaming your console games. More importantly, the quality of your stream in terms of frame rate and resolution ay nakabase din kung gaano kalakas ang gaming PC mo. So, if you want to actually know about these things again, you may want to go back to our last episode because again, as I mentioned there, if you want to stream such titles we have build guides worth 25,000 to 50,000 pesos to actually choose from so you can go and refer to our last episode pero okay magdala if you think that your current PC setup is something that you cannot use in order for you to play and stream your game uh, you don't need to worry because expert gamecaster can automatically tweak that for you so meron siyang automatic stream settings tweaking and you can also do that because it's very flexible. You can also do it by yourself. You can mix and match, try it. You can even stream for, for yourself alone in order for you to see the quality of your stream. First, make sure that your graphics card and all the drivers essential to streaming are currently updated. Ito yung pinaka-importante sa lahat at kadalasan nanineglect na tingnan ng mga streamers. Bakit bumagal? Bakit hindi siya makapag-stream ng tama? It's probably because your drivers are not updated so make sure that these ones are updated now you also need to have the latest uh, version of xbit gamecaster you can go and check it out at xbit.com slash gamecaster or the app will notify you if there's a new update so there's no hassle on that regard the installation and setup of xbit gamecaster is uh, very easy and uh, straightforward Sa unang bukas ng Gamecaster, pagpipiliin ka kung saan mo gusto mag-stream. If you wanna stream on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, or Mixer, uh, it's up to you. No? And uh, you will be asked also to log in using your uh, platform of choice. So if you want to, to stream on Facebook, then you will be asked to log in using your Facebook account. Now for this video, lo, we will log in using our XSplit account. So I encourage you to do so. Uh, you go and uh, sign up for an XSplit account so that you're able to monitor kung ano yung account na meron kayo at ano yung mga nakalink na mga platform on your account. It's very easy to do so. Now, if you want to start streaming, kung nakabukas na yung uh, game mo, automatic itong makikita doon sa Gamecaster video. So, diba? Napakadali. Ngayon, kung hindi naman na-detect yung game mo, you just simply have to edit scene at uh, lalabas na yung scene editor window kung saan pwede kang magdagdag ng sources sa stream. Para ma-detect ang game mo, First, click the main source sa upper left, then click the pause button to toggle sources. As you can see, napakadaming screencast sa episode ito, but these steps are very important and essential, especially if you want to go through the next episodes. Okay, let's continue. Keep on clicking until magpakita ang game mo. Note na kapag naka-full screen ang game mo, nag-freeze ang game source sa stream mo kapag nag a tab ka. So remember, yun yung isa sa mga perils or issues when you're doing alt tab. Uh, you can of course uh, do so, kaya lang that's the caveat of it. Nagpo-pause yung game mo when doing so. So make use of the in-game HUD as much as possible. Of course, there's another solution to that and that is to put your game or set it up to borderless na full screen or full screen borderless, however you want to call it, para kahit papano hindi nagpo-pause yung game, para tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung takbo ng game mo. Note that there are some games na medyo nagiging choppy when you do some alt tab, like for example, Division uh, 2, nag-choppy siya, no? 
and that is because uh, it is in the background and some games are ordained or set up to do so. Pwede na tayo magdagdag ng sources, widgets, at uh, designs para gumanda yung stream mo. Now there are of course presets available for you to choose from and it's all up to you. You just simply have to click add widgets uh, upper left and add as many as you want to personalize your stream and make it your own. Hindi mo kailangan mag-download ng third-party apps for this no? kasi built-in na lahat yan sa XSplit Game Caster. Ngayon, kung hindi ka pa nakadeside sa stream layout mo at uh, gusto mo naman na mag-experiment at sumubok ng iba't ibang layouts that uh, you can choose from, you can actually click the Themes tab sa main window at pamili ka doon sa mga libo-libong free streaming layout na gusto mo powered of course by player.me provided by Split Media Labs. As I mentioned, uh, very flexible si XSplit Gamecaster uh, with all the combined solutions prepared by Split Media Labs. Sobrang ang daling gamitin at uh, maganda rito is uh, actually even free. Ngayon, pagtapos mo na i-customize uh, yung stream layout mo, pumunta naman tayo ngayon sa stream settings which is actually very crucial in all of the steps kasi dito lalabas at dito mo makikita kung gaano kaganda yung quality ng uh, stream mo. Now, here, click Settings button and uh, sa Streaming tab, pwede kang mamili kung saan platform mo gusto mag-stream. Kailangan mo lang i-log in yung account mo, as I mentioned earlier. And after choosing your streaming platform, you are now ready to stream. Expert Gamecaster takes care of all the technical stuff so that you only have to worry about your layout and entertaining your audience. Ganun ganun lang, simple. Its automatic setting lets the app control the output resolution, bitrate, and other settings to ensure a smooth and seamless streaming experience. Wala ka nang dapat alalaan pa. But of course, as I mentioned, kung gusto mo pa rin i-tweak yan, it is all up to you. Of course, if you run into some issues in your streams due to hardware bottlenecks, platform limitations, or internet uses, you can change Expert Gamecaster's automatic setting to custom to take advantage of the software's flexibility even further. You can also adjust your settings to maximize and get the most performance out of your PC kung uh, ang PC mo naman ay uh, mabilis no? at uh, maganda. So let's get a quick rundown on what settings you can adjust in the custom option. Now for the resolution or output ng stream mo, ang uh, standard dyan at recommended ay 1080p Full HD. May mga platform tulad ng uh, Facebook na hindi ka papayagan to go to 1080p kung hindi ka partner. Uh, or content creator ng platform nila. Um, kung sa Facebook ka mag-stream, then you can go probably at the beginning stream to 720p until you reach that part na maging part ka na ng partner, partner program ni Facebook. They call it the Level Up Program. Now, next naman is yung codec. Basically, pipiliin mo kung CPU ba or video card ang magre-render ng stream mo. At depende dito ngayon kung ano yung mas malakas na sa setup mo. Kung sa tingin mo ba, kaya ng GPU mo, Kung sa tingin mo kaya ng CPU mo, then you just have to actually choose between the two. Ang general rule of thumb dito is to choose, as I mentioned, kung ano ang mas malakas. But what I recommend is the inverted rule. Kung malakas kumain ng CPU resources, yung game na gusto mong laruin, then you might as well use NVENC if you're using an NVIDIA video card or AMD VCE if you're using naman an AMD card. Ngayon, the other way around naman is that kung malakas naman sa video card resources yung gusto mong laruin na game, then do the other thing. Use X264, that means your CPU will now help you render your stream rather than using the video card. Sa method na to, siguradong hindi mababottleneck or magchochoke ang PC mo. Naiiwasan natin dito yung drop frames or choppy stream at uh, gameplay delays. Dahil binabalance na natin yung load ng ating CPU at uh, GPU. And again, don't be afraid to experiment on some things. For as long as you already see what's really working best for you, then stick to it. So naman natin pag-uusapan ay ang uh, smoothness or frame rate of your stream. Uh, most streaming platforms would only allow you up to 30 frames per second and they will only allow you to go beyond that if you're part of uh, their uh, platform program or partner program. So in this case, I highly encourage you guys to stick to 30 frames per second uh, for the meantime and change it along the way as your stream and also your production uh, quality 
grows and gets better and uh, when once you become a partner of the platform of your choice. Lastly naman, ang uh, pinakamasakit dito at uh, kailangan pag-usapan natin is yung bitrate. Ang bitrate setting, uh, yun yung nag-handle kung gaano kalaking data or bandwidth ang gagamitin sa iyong stream. Dito rin nakasalalay ang bilis ng internet speed mo. So, if you don't have a fiber internet connection as discussed in our second episode, magkakaroon ka ng uh, issues dito. 1,000 bitrate is uh, roughly equal to 1 Mbps of uh, speed. No? Dito, pag sinabing speed, 1,000 Mbps, upload speed ng pinag-uusapan dito. Kasi when you are streaming, you're basically uploading files up there. Right? And for the consumption of your audience. Kung 720p HD at 30 frames per second ang stream mo, ang suggested bitrate is about 2,500 kung naka X264 ka or CPU encoding ang gamit mo. And uh, kung 1080p naman at 30 frames per second, we highly recommend you to go 3,000 or 3,500 bitrate kung X264 ang encoding mo. Okay. Paano naman kung NVENC or AMD VCE ang iyong gagamitin? Now, if you have a 10 series or 20 series uh, NVIDIA GPU, you can apply the same settings uh, doon sa X264 settings na we just said earlier. But if you're using an AMD GPU, dagdagan mo lang naman siya ng at least 500 bitrate uh, para same quality sa X264 codec ang makukuha mo. Ngayon, kapag hindi naman stable ang internet connection mo, you can lower your bitrate by 500 or set it to adaptive para si Xplit Gamecaster na ang bahala sa pag-adjust ng bitrate. This is actually where Xplit Gamecaster shines because it automatically adjusts for you if you choose adaptive. Ito yung tip namin. Kapag fast-paced ang ini-stream mong games like uh, Battle Royale games, FPS titles, or even uh, MOBA, taasan mo ng 500 to 1,000 ang bitrate ng stream mo. Why? Kasi mabilis magpalit ng frames at scenes ang mga games na to. At kapag mababa yan, pangit ang magiging quality. Kapag maraming aksyon na nagaganap, remember, mas maraming data ang kailangan i-process para ma-stream sa streaming platform of your choice. Yun ang problema natin. No? Karamihan sa mga streamers, they're not really paying much attention to this one. Therefore, kapag sobrang bilis na nangyayari, makikita mo medyo pixelated ng konti because the bitrate is not enough to be able to upload it to the internet. So, hindi siya makonsume ng tama at hindi siya, kumbaga parang nagbabottleneck din siya in such a way. Oh, by the way, no, meron din palang mga optional na mga features si Xbit Gamecaster. Ito, saktong-sakto to if you are playing competitive games and you don't want your uh, audience to stream snipe you. Uh, we just also rented this uh, uh, server for a dead side. No, we're planning to put a PvP context to it. Now, if I don't want, for example, to uh, let my audience to uh, to stream snipe me, para malaman nila kung nasaan ako, then that's where stream delay comes into play, which is also available via XSplit Gamecaster. Sure, if there's no competitive aspect in the room, it is still best to not have. A uh, three to ten second stream delay, or just get rid of stream delay when possible. Shempre, ang uh, Xplit Gamecaster is not just really there for letting you stream your games. It also allows you to record your gameplay. So if you're a content creator, for example, gusto mo maglaro ng mga um, single player games, or if you just really want to entertain people with your recorded gameplays. You can also do so with XSplit Gamecaster. Again, remember though that when you are doing this, you have to pay attention to the capability of your PC, especially if you wish to stream or if you wish to record uh, with a higher bitrate or better quality. But wait, there's more. We just need to talk about one more thing here for XSplit Gamecaster. Ito yung Devices tab. Now, you have to remember, sa system audio, you have to select the device kung saan mo naririnig ang in-game audio mo. Ibig sabihin nito, dapat you make sure na parehas yung devices na gamit mo at saka yung nandun sa Xplit Gamecaster kasi hindi maririnig ng viewers mo kung hindi ito nakaayos. So again, what you hear is something that what your audience should also be hearing. 
may slider din doon sa pag-adjust ng stream na audio mo. So, you just have to really use this option kung mataas yung volume na ginagamit po para hindi naman sumabog yung tenga ng mga viewers mo. You don't want that to happen, guys. Yes, you want to have this kind of immersion but not to the point of uh, harming your uh, audience. Ganun din ang gawin mo sa microphone. Kung masyadong maingay ang paligid mo, again, or mahina ang mic na gamit mo, you can always make use of the background noise remover available on XSplit Gamecaster. Once you've double check everything at uh, lahat ng ito ay nakaayos na, then that means you are really ready to stream. But again, we here at uh, Gadget Pilipinas and One More Game always recommend that you do a test stream first before anything else. Para at least kahit papano alam mo before you really go live, especially kapag ka nag advertise ka, nagpo-promote ka na, na malapit na ako mag-stream, you have to make sure that it is really running pretty well. Well, I guess that's about it for today for our third episode of uh, streaming with Explit Gamecaster. I highly encourage you guys to check out gadgetphilippines.net for our build guides. You can go and check out also the links in the description down below. And as I mentioned, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell because we're giving away a Realme C3 for one lucky subscriber based in the Philippines for the month of May. Details of everything on how you can win is in the description down below. Again, this has been Gian of GadgetPilipinas.net. Maraming salamat sa panonood and I will see you guys on the next episode.